In the movie, The Aristocats. A movie I have never seen. <laughs> it always creeped me out as a kid. I mean, it's like the the animation is still early, and so like it's kind of janky. And there's this one scene with these two like skinless cats, or I'm mean, not skinless, but hairless I know, cats. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And like it's a very. Skinless cats would be weird. Oh my god. That'd be awful. Keep me up at night. <laughs> yeah. In Paris, 1910, mother cat Duchess and her three kittens, Berlois, Marie, and Toulouse, I don't speak French, I'm, I took German in high school, um, live with retired opera diva, Madame uh, Adelia Bonfamiglia, and her English butler, Edgar. One day, while preparing her will with lawyer, um, with lawyer Georges Hattacout, I don't know. Um, Madame declares that her fortune will be left to her cats until their deaths and thereafter to Edgar. Edgar hears this through a speaking tube, one of those little like horn trumpet things from your ear, um, and plots to eliminate the cats. He later sedates them by putting them by putting sleeping pills in a milk mixture intended for them, and then drives them to the countryside to abandon them. The movie is about how they get back to Madame. She wanted to leave her estate to her cats. Yes. Okay, that that's actually legally work. Okay, that, that works. So what she's talking about under Georgia law is a pet trust. Okay. Um, where you can set aside a sum of money for the care and maintenance of your pets typically keep them in their accustomed standard of living in this case it might be kind of high i don't know <laughs> paris cats get. well um, the they're the aristocats so I, it's very I, high i know my cats are not aristocats but they cost me a ton of money <laughs> like um and then upon the cat's deaths then it would revert <laughs> then it goes to edgar yeah. because a pet trust has to go to a person eventually okay so um under under no state's law can you leave a bequest directly to an animal yeah. Or any non-human because okay. they have they aren't people. So we set some minimum standards about leaving money to be. An animal can't spend money or make decisions about it or make decisions about their own care. But a pet trust does work. Um, so I can sign my fortune over in the form of a pet trust to my pet. At least for the pet's lifetime. Yeah. And then I could, if I had a butler, I could say the butler would inherit everything after exactly. the pets die. The butler has fiduciary obligations to the cats. So Edgar, was Edgar also the one who sedated the cats? Yes. Why did Edgar do... Okay, this is the confusing part for me because Edgar's the remainder beneficiary. Yeah. Edgar is in really trying to mess it up for himself. If Edgar had just done nothing... Yeah, he would have been fine. Since he also has the remainder interest, there'd be very few people who'd sue him for a breach of fiduciary duty. And honestly, a size of the pet trust is, often can be limited in scope to the really? amount that can reasonably be used for the care of the pets. Okay. So I don't know if the madam found out about it, but if she did, I imagine she might have just cut Edgar out. Um, yeah, no, and, and eventually that's what happened. I mean, I don't. <laughs> spoiler alert to a movie that came out in I think 1990. Answer you this question: Do things that make the trustee mad at you, to make the benefit, to make the person right. giving you money mad at you, especially before they they're dead. before they die. Yeah. <laughs> the cynical part is that the madam dies. He's the trustee of the cats. That's Nobody will the know. part that's a question. Yeah. So he could have craftily killed. If he was a little he bit more cunning, he could have killed these cats. He created the situation where the cats die. Okay. They, your person who's in charge of taking care of your cats, their interest should not be in your cats dying. Right. If for the sake of the film and the sake of the plot of the movie, if it were to happen in real life, could I potentially set up a thing where Edgar's not allowed to spend any of this money that he's eventually going to inherit uh, for the duration of my cat's lives? You could. Okay. You could. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little bit nervous for the cats, but yeah. yes, you could. Um, I love that. That's great. Ideally, if you were going to do that, set up a completely different person as the trustee over the cats. Okay. And then once the cats die, then Ed gets the money. Gotcha. So I would trust someone who likes cats or likes your cats in particular. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful or at least enjoyable um, listening to us um, rip apart the great legal questions from the depths of the internet. It would help us out if you could like, share, or leave a comment below this video. Also, if you want to protect your family through the estate planning process, please give us a call. Our direct number is 404-738-9538. And you can also leave us an email at the address below.